ndi ibeke na emu unu asim kanko e chukwelo ya zelo asi ndu miri ndu azu mini ata na mazu anguna asa ya drama na eke drama na ulia tufaza ya mana afo tufaza ya mana mpo oza ya anon kendi ibo jibiri asi na ya dira ni ibo na ma o ise 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 amdi ko si de ka bapu ni osi go si ni ya bifa jima kia wo ebya na tupu wa ya gani di go si ni ya bifa wabana ka bopo si zige ina ejete afo shana la ya ni iba kuko ka baro ke like and subscribe wo si yiko komente si ya kwe ya to sa ya bozi kumu na indi no ebe di chiche wo eno ya bifa na eme no boda adi ko si di ya wo te do nita ta bo nuku update di oke mba mancho konyo wabana misi ya mancho ki ge ya bifa Ige se abifa wote luunu. Pasa maka abifa nyo minu budo. Aino ni imi ya. Andi wole wendi bwona aso. Idrua pora yo. Unu koment. Pushed in. Sometimes they use their projects. Their allies like Boko Haram. And I'm bounded that people don't call terrorists. But I call them terrorists. So they have been using different kind of people to push their own agenda. Their own agenda is self-determination. They want an Islamic state where Sharia law will be practiced. That is simple as that. And um, that is the same thing the Boko Haram we are vying for, we are killing people for, we are doing all sorts of things for. Now, there is a new set group that emerged recently. It emerged from Sokoto State. And most of the time, I explain why all these uh, terrorist groups, they we always start from Sokoto State. Because Boko Haram was first formed in Sokoto State by Sokoto State Governor Andy Modu Sheriff that time, who handed over to Kashen Shetima, the present Vice President of Nigeria. Now, there is a new form group they are from iswap it's just like a department of them but most of these people came from outside the country let's look at this i got this information about five days ago and i am happy that shara reporters just published it now and this is what shara reporters published the new jihadist group nakurawa emerges in nigerian sokoto state imposes islamic law taxes levies on communities now what do they impose islamic laws taxes, levies on communities, and they said they do not recognize Nigerian government, and they do not recognize Nigeria security operatives like soldier police and so on and so forth. Now, recently, do you remember that they were trying to remove the clause personal from some elements of Sharia law in Nigerian constitution? A lot of people are now saying, could that be linked to all this push from here and there to in their minds? Nigeria or to turn Nigeria into Islamic State because that is the primary reason of Boko Haram and this group. Follow me. Now, that is the topic of uh, this uh, article that New Jihadist Group uh, and Akurawa emerges in Nigerian Sokoto State imposes Islamic laws, taxes, and levies on communities. The article was written 6th November 2024. And let us follow the details of this article. And it reads A newly formed jihadist group known as Nakurawa has emerged, imposing taxes and levies on communities in Sokoto State, Northwest Nigeria. Shara reporters learned that heavily armed Nakurawa Islamic preachers are operating in five local government areas of the state, namely Tangaza, Gudu, Indela, Sendame, and Binji. Authorities and residents of the affected areas have expressed deep concern over the presence of the heavenly armed Islamic preachers, many of whom are believed to be foreigners. Now, before I go forward, I really want to explain some facts here. Authorities and residents are concerned. Who are the authorities? The military, the police, and the people who are living in these communities, both the politicians, they are concerned. Why are they concerned over the presence of heavenly armed Islamic preachers? Stop there. Wait a minute. Think what I'm thinking. Heavenly armed Islamic preachers. Heavenly armed Islamic preachers. I hope you are listening. Now, let's go on with the articles. They were reported to have set up bases in the affected local government areas, moving from one community to community, preaching against Western civilization and democratic system of government, similar to the ideology of Boko Haram terrorists. Let me repeat this uh, paragraph because here is the basics that I want to explain deeply to you. They were reported to have set up bases in affected local government areas, moving from community to community. What are they doing? Preaching against the Western civilization and democratic system of government, similar to the ideology of Boko Haram. If I tell you that this is not new, there are so many countries who don't want the Western education and the system of democracy we are practicing. 
Can you not call this a self-determination? At the end of this video, I don't think you will blame these people for what they are doing, right? Because the federal government who accompanies the security operatives for, um, you know, taking the repentant terrorists, even though they are not Nigerians, into their security system. And most of the time, police commissioners told us that, oh, politicians are among these people, and so on and so forth. We have the videos, we have the evidence of what we are saying. So, when you look at all these things that are going on, you will understand that this thing is like a self-determination, that these people need their own country where they can practice their Sharia. That will solve this problem. I'm just giving a solution. Let them have their own country. That will solve the problem. Let Biafra have their own country. That will solve the problem. Ududua, Bini, every state in Nigeria is even capable of forming their own country. Forget all about the jargons they tell you about self-determination. Now, let me continue with the articles. It's an increase. Sokoto State Deputy Governor now. Listen to what the Deputy Governor of Sokoto State is saying. Sokoto State Deputy Governor Idris Mamadou Gobe disclosed this to students of the Nigeria Defense College on Friday in the state. Gobi noted that the majority of the members of the new Islamic sect are from the Sahel countries of Mandi, Niger Republic. So that is to tell you that these people are not Nigerians. And if I tell you most of the time that all this uh, insecurity going on, the people who are perpetrating it, they are not Nigerians. They gave them room to come in because their brothers are here, their religious you know, groups are here. They will just come in because our borders are porous and the government are not ready to do anything to secure our borders. And people continue to die like this. There is a solution to it. Give them their country. Give Biafra their country. Because if they are saying they want to impose this thing on Nigerians, they don't respect security operation because they are companies, what do you want the rest to do? And when they say they want Biafra, they want the Oduduwa Republic, they want Niger Delta Republic, and everybody will come out to say, stop that. We believe in one Nigeria. Do you, why is it that your mainstream medias are not reporting all these things that are going on? You believe in one Nigeria to impoverish people, to kill people, to allow all these things to go on? It was only Donald Trump that warned Buhari about all this uh, Islamic thing that we are going on. Since Joe Biden and Kamala Harris enter, you know, as the president of America, they mind their business. Instead of them to even ask why are they killing people, doing all sort of things, they will even like to sponsor them. So that is a topic for another day. I don't want to digress. Let us focus on this. Now, the last two paragraphs of the article says that they impose strict Islamic laws. They impose strict Islamic laws, luring young people into the food with business capital. They also collect taxes and levies. So this is what they are doing. Tell me why they will not be able to win people when they are giving people money to start up business. Look at what the article is just saying. It says, they impose strict Islamic laws, luring young people into the food with business capital. They also collect taxes and levies. This is a new government before us. A new government has emerged in Nigeria. A new government of terrorists, a new government of jihadists, a new government of Islamic preachers that are heavily armed, that the federal government of Nigeria cannot do anything because they know where they are coming from, they know their mission. Now, the last paragraph there says, during sermons, they will tell us they don't recognize the Nigerian government and its security forces, a residence of the area cell. So these people are going around doing good, preaching, giving people money to set up their business. That is, as he was going around doing good. Oh. Nigeria, is this the country you people really want to have forever and live for your children? And when we talk about that this country should separate, people don't see common reasons why we said Nigeria should separate. People don't see common reasons. And here are the reasons. What else do you expect from us? What else do you expect any common Nigeria with common sense? What do you expect from any Nigeria with common sense? What do you expect from any Nigeria with common sense? To fold hand and begin to die? All our bushes have been surrounded, so we should fold hand because in the name of one Nigeria, we want to be one Nigeria. People clamor for referendum. They ask Nigeria government, amend the House of uh, Senate, amend the bill, amend the constitution, put the clause of referendum so that people can peacefully unplug themselves from this contraption, unplug themselves from this amalgamation. And now the senators will not speak about what is going on. The House of Rep will not speak about all these things that are going on. And what do you expect us to do? I said we will not fold our hand. The right to self-determination is a human right. Everybody has right to say, I don't belong to this country. 
even though people will tell you that, oh, this country, if you people have this, forget about, let me tell you, if you look at Monaco, San Marino, you look at Vatican City, all these small, small countries, they have the highest GDP per capita in the world. They are living in peace. Some of these countries don't even have a single airport. And someone will come out to tell you that if a state, let me tell you, like Edo State, if Edo State have their own country, they will be bigger than so many countries of the world. So forget all these shenanigans people do tell you about. People who are not more for self-determination. They have seen what you have not seen. And it is only ourselves that can save ourselves in this country. Nobody. Danjuma told you that if you wait for the security operatives to come and save you, that we all will die one after the other. And what he said is trying to become a reality. But no, we mean former head of Nigerian intelligence agency told us that, you know, this is, you know, a calculated plan work by people in government to turn Nigeria into a Sharia state. He said this on a national television, Chinese television. I, I show you the video, stand with that number. What proof do you need to understand where we are at this point? Anyway, I rest my case. I am Uncle Chappie myself. A political noga who talk reality out of issues. See you on my next video. It's not about ransom. They just want to pass a message. We can come in. We can do what we need to do. And there are some hardliners in this government that are sponsoring this kind of narratives. They just want to show that they can Islamize this country. They think about Taliban. They think about the Mujahideens and they want to replicate it in this country. And they don't care what happened. They simply don't care. As long as at the end of the day, there's Sharia, and there is whatever thing they have in their head, and they want to achieve. So these people that are sending messages are sponsored by Nigerians. You remember this Boko Haram issue started since 2012. Yeah. And I was in the military intelligence that time. We arrested those people. It is my organization that actually conducts interrogation and interview. And they mention names. I can't come on the air and start mentioning names of people that are presently in government now that I know. Presently in government. That the boys that we arrested mention. Some of them are governors now. Some of them are in the Senate. Some of them are in Asurok. The intention is to Islamize Nigeria and practice Sharia. And uh, it doesn't matter if some people die. It doesn't matter if you're embarrassed. It doesn't matter if our economy has degenerated. Look at the interest rate. Look at the inflation rate. Look at the debt profile of Nigeria. They don't care. As long as at the end, Quran is at the sea. So some people in this country have this mindset. And we must tell the truth. If you tell the truth, you die. If you don't tell it, you die. Some people have this mindset to Islamize the nation. And they are in the government. And people know them. The DSS know them, the NIA know them, the DIA knows them. You can't succeed without an inside person. And this attack you saw has insiders' collaboration. And they buy a canopy mono, a deconus web to Guno, a Gabaya beef, and the cozy to a camper, a Jamaica, where Benny Rahuko, now Ibo Media, where by see when you tell on Yabunu cozy, dear camper. Bastama kiene meno goda ino ni mea Ano bastama ka Ngoro wendi bona azo Ano bastama ka Maazen nam de kanos ladies Eh diki eno reyo wana yo ke kuni Ba kupo Kefi wadi yuku Eh no don kige Asigi wo kefi wadi yuku Eh makana Ota ako oje de banjo Oya de kwa nama Akuna watu mounem Atom kunu tiyela ya lo nko ni funu chera Ni wa kupo Kuchaya bife kaparo siya ya Kurutu muna yendo zonte Kurutu muna yendo zonte Daro dine ni mune Bamo negente Ene kenu ndine kunisine iso ilaye Esi unungwa na kemesia